All right, this happens every year. The day that the silver maple opens up, I walk out the front door and there are bees all over the ground just looking for pollen because they got the signal from up at the bee yard that there's pollen right here. And they got the coordinates and they're all over the ground looking for the pollen. But the pollen is up there. That's the silver maple tree. And there are a few bees up there because there's a couple of open buds. But uh, there's hundreds of bees down here at ground level looking for pollen. The, the whole area here is just humming. So they gotta learn how to go up and get that pollen. A lot of comments on the last video asking why I was putting pollen patties into all the hives if those hives are already so filled with food. And the reason is that the hives are filled with honey and syrup. The honey was forged last fall, the syrup was offered to them in October, they jam the hives full, and that food is for the winter bees, it's for the adult bees to consume so they can generate heat over the winter and heat the hive and heat the cluster. The queens, though, as you saw in the video, are all starting to lay eggs. And when those eggs hatch and the larvae come out, they need pollen to feed the larvae. And there is not a lot of pollen in the hives right now, so that's what this is for. But Jim, I saw on Instagram you posted a video of a whole bunch of bees flying into your hives and their legs were filled with pollen, and that's true. But that was for one day about a week and a half ago. The day that I did the inspection and made that last video, the silver maple tree right there in front of our house popped open the day before. The bees found it and they were all over it. That tree is the biggest tree on our property and it, it's a huge silver maple. It opens early, the bees fly out, they find it, they get a taste of local pollen, they're bringing pollen in for a day. Then the next day after that, it started raining. It rained for about three days and then it's been down in the 40s. It, the nights are in the 20s. The bees are not flying. For the last week and a half, they've not been flying. We do have red maples all throughout the woods here and other things that will open, but nothing for over two weeks from now. That thing opens way before all, any other tree on the property. So because that thing opened, they got that taste of pollen and now they can't fly and there might not be any local pollen for two weeks, that's where the pollen patties come in. So I'm trying to fill the gap from what they were able to bring in a week and a half ago to hold them over for the next couple weeks. So today I'm gonna to go in and see how much of those pollen patties they ate from a week and a half ago and give them more if they need them. So there are no bees flying today. It is just 50 degrees right now. It's warm enough for me to lift this up and just look and see. I put the pollen patty right here a week and a half ago. So let's just see how much has been eaten, if any. And then I'm gonna close the lid right back up. So this is 10 seconds. They got plenty. So plenty of pollen patty left. They do not need any more right now. So there you go. Get back in there, B. That's it. So they're on it, but they, they have plenty left. Gosh, it's, I can feel heat. This is, it's just, this is warm up here through the insulation. It's 50 degrees outside. My hands are cold, but th this is warm right here. I, it's just amazing how much heat is in these hives. Wow, that's really impressive. Maple hive, how you doing in here? Would you like some more pollen? Nope, same thing. They're just, they're like barely touching it. Wow, it's just awesome. All right, that's it. They're just busy in there. They got brood to take care of. That's, this is gonna be a slamming hive this year. Okay, this is a hive that had a lot of brood in it and a lot of population. So I skipped over the pine hive, they were pretty small. So there's a chance they could be gobbling up pollen in here. About the same all around. 
so they're they're eating it they're using it but uh they don't need more right now so i'm just going to check one more the big oak hive Oop, get in there this one was massive there was a lot of brood in here so yep there's heat it's amazing how warm this is through three layers of insulation plus the burlap. Ooh, that's like halfway. Nice. I might throw them an, another, another little half a patty so I don't have to come in here. There you go. Here's another little bit of pollen for you. Watch out, bees. There you go. Okay. All right, so the three largest hives have plenty of pollen. Good enough for another week. So as they say, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And that's why I put the pollen sub right in the hives right now. Uh, I used to put out the dry sub in the, the tub and let the bees go fly for it. And that works great when the weather is good and it's nice and sunny and warm. The trees haven't opened yet, but the bees can fly. And I like how they get to go and forage for it and kind of bring it back to the hives. But when it's like this, you know, it's, it's cold. It's 50 degrees. It's raining. It's 20 degrees at night. We're going to have a deep freeze over the next four days. The bees aren't doing anything in the hives except keeping brood warm. You know, tending that brood and with the pollen sub right over the brood, I think that's just the best. So they each get the pollen sub. I'm going to keep it in there as long as they're still taking it. And the thing about pollen sub is the minute the trees open, the bees know it and they're out flying for the good stuff and they ignore the pollen sub. I used to notice that with the dry sub, they would be all over it one day and the minute the trees pop, there's just a, a tray of the sub sitting there not not even being touched so the bees know when the trees open and they're going to go get it this isn't making them lazy it's not you know training them to stay in the box or anything it's all good they, they're, they're taking it down because they need it and there's no other option so that's where we are and i just want to also say thank you to everybody i just passed a huge milestone on the channel <laughs> Okay, there were no fireworks or anything. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. There should be little... Boosh! <coughs> Boosh! Boosh! Ta-da! Uh, 100,000 subscribers. I, I did not expect this channel to, to grow like this. Uh, I didn't expect to be doing this this long, to be honest, when I started. This was all just sort of a, a, an experiment for a year and then it just kept going. And um, here we are. So I don't have anything huge planned. There's no big surprise or anything, but I just wanna say thank you. I really appreciate each and every one of you for, for clicking subscribe, for watching my videos, for sharing the videos. You're the best. So thank you so much. And I will see you on the next video because there will be more videos. So have a great day. All right, so it looks like the next morning you get to see fireworks. There they are. Boom! Yay! That's it. That's what I get from YouTube.